Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to configure redistribution between static route and the RIP routing protocol. So we will also see actually what happens when we do the redistribution between two different routing protocol. So we will we already have configured RIP in this left side of the networks. So that means I already configured RIP on router 1, router 1, router 5, router 2, router 3 and router 4 with network 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. And if anyone want to know or want to learn how to configure the RIP, you can see another video I have posted previously and I discuss detail how to configure the RIP in a router and the right side here so the router 6 will configure default route and in router 4 we will configure static route and then we will do the redistribution between the static route and the RIP routing protocol let's see what I have configured here so if you show the running config so you can see here I have configured router RIP and for these three network 10 network 10 network 20 and network 30 for router 1 and the same way I configured the router RIP to all of these routers until router 4 so You can see here, I have configured the router RIP for 50, 60, 70, 50, 60, 70. So the 50, 60 and the 70 networks. So now let's see what actually the based on this configuration, the router one, what it learned in and what how what it populate it in its routing table. Right, so let's let's open the routing table. Show IP route. So you can see here the router one. Router one has networks. Networks ten, network twenty, network thirty, network forty, network fifty, network sixty, and seventy. Right. So this all the some of the networks are directly connected and some of them is learned through the RIP. But the router one doesn't know any information about network 192.168.100 yet. Right. So our objective is to configure the redistribution so that router one could also learn the network 192.168.100 network okay so let's look in another router so what actually router 3 let's see router 3 or router 5 what it learned so show ip route so again you can see this router also learn the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70 networks. So none of the routers actually learn. So the router 1, router 2, router 3, router 5, none of these router know about this network 192.168.100.0. So they cannot actually communicate to these networks. So let's try to ping from laptop 2 to laptop 1. So the IP of the laptop 1 is 192.168.10.254. Let's ping from this laptop 2. Ping 192.168.10.254. So the destination host is unreachable. 
so it cannot reach to this because of because these routers they do not have, they don't have any information about the network 192.168.100.10 so now let's configure default route in router 6 and static route on router 4 so that if any packet so router this network want to communicate to any of these devices so that it can forward the packet to the router 4 and router 4 will take make the decision and forward according to the best path okay so let's configure the router 6 with the default route so let's see what we have now in the configuration so i already configured the ip address only so 192.168.10.1 so the IP address of this port and the 192.170.2 the IP address of the Ethernet port 0 gigabit Ethernet 0 0. So now I will configure the default route on this networks and I already showed in another video how to configure a static route and the default route and discuss details about the static routes and, and the default route. You can have a look on that uh, video as well. So let's configure the static uh, def default route. So we need to go to the config mode, config terminal. So now we have to configure default route. So con configuration is IP then route ip route and then the 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 then again 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 then the next hop ip address so next hop ip address is 192.168.70.1 70.1 so that means the IP address of the port of router 4 which is connected to the router 6 okay so now we have the configuration of default route so we configured the default route on this router right so you configure the default route so you can see it here your configuration now make it save now configure static route on this router so we don't have any static route configuration here so now we will configure static route to reach to the network 192.168.100 network okay so again config terminal then ip config then the destination network which is 192.168.100.0 so this is our destination network and the subnet mask of the destination network is 255.255.255.0 and next hop address is next hop address is 192.168.70.2 so 192.168.70.2 sorry ip ip route IP route let's see what we have in the configuration so now we have rip configuration here and we have a static route configuration in this router to reach to the this network so router 4 now can 
reach to laptop for laptop 2 or laptop 2 now can reach to the router 1 so let's ping from route laptop 2 to this IP address let's see it can ping it One ninety two one sixty eight seventy dot one. So now it can ping to this network, okay. but still this uh, this computer cannot this laptop cannot ping to the laptop two. Let's see it can or cannot. See, so still the laptop 2 cannot communicate to the laptop 1. So the reason is the router 1 still do not know or it has no information about this 100 network in its routing table. So let's look at what it have again. Let's look the routing table of this router. So you can see this router still do not have any 100 networks in its routing table so it cannot reply or it, this this laptop cannot communicate to this laptop laptop one so now we will do the redistribution in the router one so that router one actually advertise the static route within the rip let's see uh, We'll, we'll do it now so again config terminal right so then we will we'll redistribute within the rip so we need to go to the router rip router rip and then within the rip we will redistribute the static redistribute static redistribute static so static route we configure in this router so we configure this static route which is outside the read now we want to redistribute this static route within the read protocol so that it will advertise to its neighbor let's see what happened now So let's see what have what is in these routers. Router T three is routing table. Show IP route. So now let's see this router learn or populate this hundred network in its routing table or not. So now you can see the hundred networks is in the routing table of router three. So now let's see what happened in router 1 show IP route now you can see the these hundred networks is in the router 1's routing table but before configuring the redistribution this hundred network was not in this routing table and that's why the laptop one and laptop two cannot communicate each other let's see now laptop one can communicate to laptop two let's see what happened now see now laptop 2 can communicate to laptop 1 that means everyone within these networks now can communicate to each other so what we understand here is the redistribution we needed when actually we need to advertise one routing um, protocol and or we want to redistribute the route information or network information between two different 
routing protocol. So in this case, we see how the static route can redistribute in the RIP and you saw finally the successfully the laptop 2 can communicate laptop 1 and we step by step I try to show you before configuring the static route what I actually configured here and what actually happened they cannot ping each other. So I hope this video will help you to understand the redistribution between the static route and the RIP. Thank you very much for watching the video.